It has come to my attention that the new Scream trailer has dropped. People were like, yo, what's your reaction? I never thought I'd be doing this, but it kind of makes sense for me to talk about it because I was a character that talked about movies, and the movie was meta, so I'm a character who's talking about a movie. I'm a person talking about a character in a movie that was meta. I'm a person talking about a character in a movie in which I died, and I would talk about movies. So, I'm going to talk. I'm going to watch it. I was going to wear a Scream shirt, but somewhere in that pile. I'm going to Spookola this weekend in Ocola, Florida. I'm going to be down there all weekend, and I'm going to be doing a show. So, I love you. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about the script. I had heard a couple of things. I heard there was multiple versions. I don't know anything about the movie. All I know about it is just, it's the sixth installment. It's incredible to have a sixth installment. Um, I think it's a trailer or is it a teaser? I haven't seen it. Oh, shit. Is that it? Ooh. <laughs> that was quick. It looks cool. Honestly, I can't get enough. I mean, it's it's wild. It's in New York. You know what I mean? It's like, it's always something happens when you do like movies, like the second or third, or like the fourth installment of movies. It's always like, you know, something in New York. I think Jason was did one. Jason takes Manhattan. Home Alone, Lost in Manhattan. Scream, Ghostface takes New York. It looks cool. It's a cool idea because everybody's Halloween and people are dressed up as Ghostface. That's cool. It looks good. Let me watch it again. I like that shot. In a city of millions. One man. Is Hendy. With a knife. Don't answer the phone. Don't take public transportation. Oh, lights went out. No way. There's no way gonna kill her on that train in the beginning. That would be intense. I hope to God she does not die. Jasmine Savoy should not die. Jesus. It, not in the trailer either. Jesus. That's... What do they got against the Meekses? Why does everybody always kill the Meeks? We didn't do nothing. All we did was talk about how to help everybody. Hopefully she didn't die. Um, It looks very cool. It looks very, very, very uh intense. I love that it's in New York. I mean, that's like I said. Movies usually go to New York when there's different installments. It's funny that it's in New York now. I saw a still, I don't know if it was real, with ghost face with a shotgun. If that's true, then that's crazy. That just fucked me up when I saw that. It wasn't in here, but I don't know if it's real or not, but that was cool because I was like, whoa, that, you just never think of that. It's just the killer, right? With the knife, but the sh shotgun, and it's like, did I tell you why I think Scream is going to last forever? I think Scream, and I said this, and no one got it, and then I said it to someone else, and they really got it. Here's why Scream will last forever. Because the star of Scream has a pop culture icon killer. What did Michael Myers, what is Michael Myers? He's a supernatural killer, okay? What is Chucky, a supernatural killer? What is Freddy, a supernatural killer? Pinhead, um, I haven't seen Saw, so Jigsaw is different, I think. But what is Insidious, The Grudge, 
all of those things, I think, well, all of them, the ones I know, I don't know all of them, is the thing is always the thing. Freddie's always Freddie. Michael Myers is Michael Myers. It's powered by the supernatural that is an entity that we can't understand. Exorcist is the devil. But Ghostface, I'm going to say this, but this is going to be, I don't want to put any crazy ideas out there. (sighs) Why will Scream live forever? Because Ghostface is you. Does that make sense? Ghostface is not powered by the supernatural. It's powered by people that inhabit the ghost face, right? From Skeet to Matt to, um, you know, Laurie from Scott Foley to Emma Roberts, Timothy Oliphant to Jack Quaid. Ghost face is different characters. It's different people that embody the character who have a, a grudge. And so they keep keeping the lineage on because they're angry and they use the vestige of ghost face, if you will, to carry out their evil deed. So that's why it's even more intriguing because you can keep the, I don't know anything about the movie. All you can do, you can, you can keep all the storylines going because of personal vendettas and, and vengeance. I'm just going off the top here, but I'm kind of like Randy. You Personal vengeances and vendettas and, and the reasons why you want to kill someone as Ghostface in the movie. And so by being that, Ghostface has become bigger than ever in movies, in the movie, in um, pop culture, in real pop culture, and anybody connected with it. It's an honor to be in a scream. It's an honor to be killed in a scream. It's an honor to be part of a scream. You know, I mean, there's a, there are certain filmmakers that when you get a job with them, they said, oh, did you do a so-and-so? So it's like to be part of the Ghostface lineage is incredible. And so to to so everyone why it keeps going is because people it's so meta that people in the movie have personal vendettas connected to the universe and so they end up killing people. And then people within the movie, as the movies get more popular, hear about it and now they're copying themselves. They're copying the lineage in the movie, which makes it even more popular. Does that make sense? So it's becoming popular in the movie world of like, oh, in the actual movie setting, they, people are hearing about Ghostface. So you can reference pop culture things in the movie. And then in the real world, the actual world that we're in outside of the movie, it's humongous. And that's because people feel like that. They they feel like they could be Ghostface. And like I said, there's all these... Sexy women that are dressing up to call bimbo ghost face. There's glitter ghost face. There's gay face. I, there's a rainbow ghost face mask. There's trans face. There is all. There's all types. There's like cute ghost face. There's. I've seen every sexual orientation, color, creed, age with ghost face masks, and all, and and everyone's playful. Some people are intense, but mostly people are playful, and it's become bigger. So, scream is ghost face. So it's just. It's just, it's insane. It's, it's, it's everything we thought it could be, but more. I mean, it thought, wow, like that. In the first scream, there was no ghost face on the poster. It was Drew's face and the rest of the cast. In the second one, it was a knife, I think. I think ghost face started coming up in the third. I don't have it in front of me. So it's absolutely wild, but I'm not surprised. I mean, it's a huge week. Scream 2 is 25 years old this week. And it's wild because, you know, I was watching that show on Netflix, man. It's it, Black Mirror is so good. This was years ago. Maybe it was, yeah, I think it was, I think it was fucking five or six years ago. And it's, did you see the one with the two beautiful women, the black chick and the white chick, and they were, they were lovers? I'm going to go down a rabbit hole here, but it's an, an ama- I think it's, I forget the name of it. It was an amazing episode. And they travel through different time eras. In this episode of Black Mirror, and it's basically like virtual reality. Put this headset on and go back. And we didn't know until the end. And there's this amazing shot of them coming down this like beautiful vista looking out on the ocean. And I'm like, that's not Malibu. And I realized it was South Africa. And I was like, I feel connected to that. And sure enough, within five months, I was shooting, a, I was shooting a Tremors in South Africa, that same location. I was freaked out, right? And they shot a lot of it in South Africa and later on I visited where they shot it. I was so like, I love the episode so much. I was not like that. And um, there's different eras. So they go to the 80s. They were like in the 70s. It was like, one, they go to a house and each time this club is a different era. 
So the seventies had like Creed's Curl Water Revival, the eighties they had like erasure and, and you know, different eighties stuff. And the nineties they pulled back and they were coming out of a movie theater and on the marquee was Scream, the huge poster. And that's when it really hit me that Scream is beyond anyone's control. Because now the filmmakers of Black Mirror, an amazing, cool it's just public domain at this point. A cool, super, insanely great show took Scream and made it basically the poster of the 90s. So it was like part of the 90s was that. It's like Doc Martin's, um, you know, um, I have to think of something else in music. Pearl Jam and Scream. You know what I mean? Like that, that's the 90s. That like Scream was the 90s. I'm, I know there's other stuff, but. The fact that they chose that was like so like I was in awe. It's because how cool that show is and this how futuristic it is and how it's predictive and and ever since then I've seen Scream bigger, 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 bigger. So yeah, the trailer looks amazing. I mean I wanna see the whole one, but oh I I know that I did my time in Scream and um I'm not in it. And but people ask me and I have a YouTube channel and I go to a lot of cons, so it's good to keep within the community. So I want you to know that. That I just do it because people like it, and I'm also a fan. But I'm sure this movie would be fantastic. It could be the biggest one of all of them. Who knows? Scream's bigger than anyone now. It's its own universe, and I wish it nothing but the best. Like, subscribe. Peace.